what I have here today, March 12th, 2024, is another Bun Special video. Written, directed, edited by Bun Special, graphics by Bun Special, stunts by Bun Special, handcrafted with the finest ingredients, sound effects by Bun Special. Uh, this video is performed by an amateur. Do not attempt at home. No watches were harmed in the making of this video for entertainment only. Wow, that was exciting. And people like to look at watches. Uh, I'm wearing a quartz thing today. So I usually don't wear. I, well, what's that? Uh, oh, that's an hour behind. I didn't set the clocks yet because we had that daylight savings time. Yeah, you see, I, I was at work and I finished lunch and I was throwing my stuff away. And on top of the garbage can, in the garbage can, was this watch. And, uh, well, the crystal, you know, was all fogged up on the inside. But it's a watch, so I had to pick it up and look at it. And I noticed that the second hand was still moving. I said, hey, I can, I can get this. I can clean up the inside, no problem. So I took it, even though I'm not a fan of quartz. Yeah, yeah, so I uh, opened it up, yeah, it was all fogged up, dried it out, and then uh, when I was putting it back together, that's when I found out uh, why it was all fogged up, besides the crystal damage. Now, the crown didn't screw in all the way, so I looked at the threads. My goal was not to spend any money on this. I'll spend time on it, but not money, and uh, I couldn't see anything wrong with the threads. Because this thing would only screw in maybe uh, two thirds in, and then it would just stop. So I got some uh, this uh, diamond powder dust stuff, mixed it with some oil. I put it on the threads, and I just worked it back and forth till it screwed all the way in. Uh, eh, I like the second hand that it's different color. It's got a fish on there, so that's why I wear. It's interesting is I don't have to wind this up just like an auto wine but I don't even have to wear it if I don't want to it's been running like I've had this for at least a year if I decided to wear it Casio eh, anyway that's the people like to look at watches it's not mechanical but uh, I'm doing something different uh, what's next oh uh, I did this this one I think I did a video on this watch I'm pretty sure I did hopefully I I think I've released it. I have to find it. It's either on the internet or it's in the camera still. Well, look at that. Mm -hmm. This is that. Uh, oh, we can zoom in. Whoops, wrong way. Yeah, that Gerard. I don't even know how to say that last name. Whatever it is. Perry Gox. I don't know. I don't. I don't know the accents. Yeah, it has a broken mainspring. That's what I found out. So I did my research. I think that's what I found out. What is this, the research? Oh, that's the size, I think, of the spring. And one of these is thickness, width, and length. Maybe one's in millimeters and the other one's in denison. I don't remember. And then I think these are the numbers. Oh, wait, there's some more crap. That's it. So I figured it's a 1052, whatever that means. I did this a while ago, so I don't remember what I did. Or maybe it's AS 1052. I don't know if that's the movement number. I don't know. Either way, I saved this. And I found a mainspring. It must be AS 1052 is the, the movement number. So I, I think this is the right... Someone actually wrote shell on here, so... Got this off of eBay. This should be the uh, the spring. Oh, C.E. Marshall. Oh, this lifetime lubricator makes me the very clean and sealed. Oh, wow, this can be pressed right into the barrel. It says, but do not oil. It's interesting, but do not oil. You know, I didn't really look at this, or if I did look at it, I got this spring a while ago. I'm only doing the video now because I won't. I have to release the other one. Was it like that? Let's see. Well, do not oil, but how old is this mainspring? 
Is it in the... Oh, there it is. Wow, look at that. It is sealed for my... I don't know if the oil's any good in there. Who the hell knows? It's interesting because it's not a... Uh, it's not a T end or a hole end. I don't know what end you call it, but the little piece of it sticks out, and it's uh, I guess a, a a raised ridge on the uh, perimeter of the barrel that hooks onto the spring. That's what it looks like. I never did one like this before. Hey, yeah, yeah, look at that. It's sealed for my protection. Well, let's see. I don't need this. I put this. Oh, I forgot to get the whole movement open. Ah, uh, always forget stuff. Ah, uh, let's see. I got my. I use this movement opener. I like this movement opener because it's thin. Got a thin blade. This thing cost me a lot of money back in the day. I don't know, twenty something bucks maybe. I forget. I think I got it at the Diamond District of New York City. Oh, let's see. I'm going to take it out of the case. I'm going to loosen the screws. I need a... Oh yeah, my voice is a little off. I get my parts holder. Right, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, parts holder. Bottom of a plastic water bottle because I am cheap. Can I use one of these screwdrivers? Or maybe I'll use one of the bigger ones. Ah, let me get it down. Bigger one. Hopefully this battery will last. I got should have got a real battery. Oh, that's a cheap battery. Let's see. Oops. I hate it when that happens. So I'm just gonna do the mainspring. How come I oh that's why, because the reflection. Let's see if I can do this. I have uh, brass. I'm using brass tweezers today. I bought them a while ago and I figured eh, I might as well start using them. Oh, that one's okay. So, what's next? Oh, I gotta take the. I'm just gonna put this on top just so I don't finger the movement unnecessarily. This one opens up. Uh, this crystal, the front one, I think, is it has to be plastic. Maybe that's the original? I don't know. Let me put it over here. I'll put it here. Oops, I shouldn't have put that there. Eh, I don't think... Do... Let's see. Oh, I, I touched the movement. I don't want to touch the movement. Oh, I forgot to remove the... Uh, I forgot to remove the crown. Oh, crown. What do they call that crown? Well, some people pull it out. We'll do what some people do. They pull it out. And then they remove it. That way, they watch them call it. What do they call that, though? Ratchet wheel or no, I don't know. There's some piece in there that moves. Wait, wait, wait. Wow, that thing is loose. Wow. Uh, half one. I can try one and a half. One and a half turns. Let's see if it comes out. One and a half turns. Take it out. 
if you do it more than one and a half, well, maybe two at the most, that's what I found out. If you do it more than that, then something in screws underneath the dial, and you got to go <clears throat> taking off the dial. It just becomes a pain in the neck to put something, what do they call it, the setting lever or something gets, uh, the screw comes out of the setting lever, and then you got to take off the dial to get the screw back into the setting lever. Well, let's see, how can I do this? Interesting, I got this new move. well, not a new movement holder. I think years ago someone sent this to me. I don't know if this fits right. I don't want to touch it. <clears throat> I don't want to touch it. How do we do it without touching it? I guess I have to touch it. Yeah, I gotta touch it. Maybe I should have taken the hands off. It's got a button here you press. Let's see. Oops, and then you press it again. Oh, look at that. It fits pretty good. Wow. I do have a... I found some... Uh, I think these are other inserts from it, but for, they're for very small... smaller movements. This is nice. I like that. Well, yeah, this is nice. Look at that. It cradles it in comfort. No, it cradles it so it doesn't look like it's not even going to come out. Will it come out? No, that sucker ain't going to go nowhere. Wow. It's too bad I don't have the other diameters. Oh, wait, is the hands? The hands are not getting crushed. Maybe the dial's getting messed up. Damn it, I always do something wrong. I didn't want to take off the dial. Oh well. Uh, let's see, what's next? Let's take off the... Uh, what's this, the winding wheel maybe? I think, no, it's not the winding wheel. I forget what these parts are called now. I have more lighting today. Oh, is it one of the ones? Yeah, it's one of the reverse ones, I think. I think it's one of the reverse ones. It's the uh, opposite turn on the main. S what's that? The ratchet wheel. Now I remember. So the ratchet wheel goes the other way. It's a reverse thread. Usually they mark the top of the screw with some extra grooves to let you know that it turns the other way. Cheap bastards on this one. Uh, the main spring is broken, like I said, so there's no sense in me in letting it down. How do I get in there and pull it out? Oh man. Wow, they don't really leave any clearance. I try not to mar up the movement. Look at that. It's got uh, it's like blue underneath there. What is that? Old oil? I don't know what that is. Oh, what's next? Yeah, sometimes people use screwdrivers that are too big on the blade and they <laughs> they countersink countersink the holes. That's well, I th I find it humorous. 
I don't like that. This blade is a little... Could be a little wider, but I don't want to countersink those holes. What size movement is this? I think this is a 12 size. Man, I wonder if they have these things for 18 size and 16 size. I don't know where I'm going to get that because this thing looks like it's it's ancient. Oh, I hate it when I unscrew this screw. And they don't want to come out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, they got the click spring there. Now there's pry points. I see a pry point over here. And is there another one on the other side? Yes, there's one on the other side. Oh, come on, there you go. Uh, this, see... Yeah, that's the screw to hold down the stem. There's something on the other side that it screws onto. Let's see. Theoretically, this should come out. There you go. Yay! Wow, they ain't got much material. They just have this with the hole in it for the uh, barrel. And it's just, this stuff ain't that thick either. Look how thin that is. Wow, that's not that thick. Wow. Interesting. Oh, yeah, there's the uh, see-through barrel. Whoops. Whoops, that's what you want to hear when you're working on a watch. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to put this someplace where I will not knock it over and onto the floor. Let me put it. There you go. Now it's off to the side. And there is the mainspring. Well, I could, oh, wait. I can use the... Uh, this is the lens cap for my camera. Maybe I can put it on the lens cap. Camera doesn't come with a lens cap, but you know, I gotta put a lens cap. So I, this is the bottle, the uh, top of a bottle for. I think it's for spices. No, it's for like oregano or something, because you can see there's there's holes in there. I think it's for oregano. So I had to alter it to fit the camera. I'm pretty sure this is the broken mainspring watch. That's too big. Let's try this one. I gotta touch it with my greasy fingers. Let's see if I can use some plastic. Let's see if I can get this open. Some people say you can just push on the uh, Wow, that sucker. Oh. Push on the barrel. Well, and it'll pop up. Yeah, it does, there. Yeah, that's, that's a better. My, my visors hit the damn tripod. The reason this is tight is I think it's because of the, uh, the harbor. Wow, that is tight. Man, oh no, it's still, it's still in a little bit. Mm, it doesn't want to go anymore. These things are tiny. I assume the cover, I don't even know, the, yeah, see, there it is, broken mainspring. I know there's a tool 
I might have one where you could punch a new hole in the mainspring and reuse what's left. Oh, it is the same type of mainspring. Yeah, it's the same type. Oh, let's see. I got to get this out. Oh, yeah. I just had breakfast an hour ago. Whoops. Mainspring broke. Oh. Which way does this go in now? I should have made a picture. Ah, oh, so this goes like this. That went in like that. I'm going to draw myself a picture. Because I'll probably forget it. In the short time. Uh, draw a picture. That's my picture so I know what it's supposed to look like. After I put it all back together. Okay, where's my tweezers? There they are. I'm going to put this in the container. I'll put this in the container. Now I have to get this out. I usually do this in a plastic bag. How do I get this out? the screwdriver in there. I'm going to walk it out as they say. Can I walk it out? I never walked them out before. Oh shit. Oh crap. Where's my plastic? This sucker's going to blow. It's going to blow. <sighs> there it goes. Oh, I dropped. I almost dropped the barrel. Yeah, I can't walk it out. I don't have the patience. See, I learned these techniques because once I took the mainspring out and it it went on, you know, uncontrollably and poof, things went all over the place. The barrel went all over, went God knows where on the floor or something. Oh, I'm gonna entangle this for some reason so I can show it better. Oh, look at that. should have walked it out. Holy crap. Oh, there you go. Oh, one more. There you go. And there's the end. That's the end. See if I can. I don't know if you can see the end. Where is it? Yeah, it won't focus. Piece of crap. Anyway, it looks like they fold over the ends and it's. It hooks onto the inside of the barrel. No, it's riveted. This one's got a rivet. Well, there you can't see it, but there's a rivet there. Is it folded over? No, it is folded it over. Is it folded over? Where's my loop? No, it's not folded over. It's a riveted piece. Oh, they riveted a small piece. It's definitely been heat treated. Well, it's been annealed. I can see the color change in there. It's been annealed. And then they riveted. Uh, what am I going to do with this? I'm going to put it someplace. I'll put it over here. Where can I put this? I'll put this here. I even got out my... Uh, I got my Marshall 
mainspring winder. I thought I was going to use that, but should I clean this out? What does this look like? have to use lint covered crap Does that make a difference I guess it did where's my blower I got my blower is it Bergeon? No, it's A and F Switzerland. This is my blower. Oh, you can't. Uh, I think I got this at the uh, National Association of Watch and Clock Collectors Museum. It had a rubber or plastic tip, but for some reason it degraded and broke off cheap crap <laughs> see that's why I gotta hold it down uh, let's see oh here's my mainspring sealed for my protection wow so they say I they say I can just push this sucker right in according to my picture it goes in like goes in like this. The curl is counterclockwise. Yeah, so it should go in like this. Yeah, that would fit. And inside the barrel... Where is it? Okay, there's the cut. I don't know if you can see that. Let's show it to you because I like to waste time. Yeah, well, you can see that line at 12 o'clock. That's the uh, the cut. Where's the... Uh, oh, the high part is to the left. And the low part is to the right. I have to get this torture over with. Let's back it off just a little bit. Okay, oh, i got to get scissors. I'm not going to tear this with my teeth because I'm not an animal. Okay, oh, I got the scissors. Yeah, I did this once. I remember once I had a uh, bull of a lady's wristwatch I had to replace the mainspring on. So this is it. Who knows if the oil in here is any good? Well, it could be good because it's... Well, I don't know. <coughs> this mainspring is probably old. Uh, how's it go? Where's my picture? Yeah, it should be like this. Should be like this. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I did a lady's bull of a wristwatch once with the broken mainspring and did it? No, it wasn't a push in. I couldn't push it. In. I had to buy a main. Maybe it was a push in. I don't remember anymore. I don't know if I ever did a video. There's a piece of dust. I see dust. What is that? No, that's not a dust. That's that's a burr. There's a burr on my mainspring. Where's my loop? Yeah, that's that's a piece of metal. I got to get that off. That's disappointing. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. Oh man, it's inside the uh since it's in the fold over. 
Oh, damn. Where did that come from? Is that the, from the spring? No, I think it's from the holder. How do I get that out? Is that, I don't think that's going to come out. How big is that? It's like a little burr. Oh man, there's like a little sliver of metal in there. Oh crap. Crap, crap, crap. I need like uh Oh crap. Crap. I got some brass shim stock. Let's see, maybe I can use a piece of this. Maybe this is thin enough. I think it's from the uh, this aluminum holder. Yeah, okay. Did I get it out? I don't know what I did. I think I got it out. Yeah, it's just a little filing. Anyway, I use the brass. Okay, let's see. So theoretically, I just press this in. Am I still holding it the right way? Yeah, okay. Oh. Where'd my tweezers go? Wait, let's see. There's the cut. Cut is all the way over there. What is that? There's a, there's a piece of thing in there. I think this metal ring they have it on has burrs on it. Burrs and little slivers of metal. There's the cut. I think uh, let's try something like this. I don't know how this is going to go in. Where's my plastic? Oh, I just need a piece of plastic. That one has crap all over it. Let me get this out of the way just in case this goes wrong. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Let's see what happens. Oh. oh, it doesn't push all the way out, you dog. You dog. Let me pick this up then. I gotta pick this up. Oh, there it goes. The middle was going down, but I had to use my fingernails to get the uh, the edge in. There's the metal ring. I had slivers of metal. You can see the edges aren't that clean. Hey, where's my blower? 
Does this go in all the way? I don't know. What it... Oh, the, the perimeter is... Oh. oh, I picked up the wrong thing. Oh, there's more slivers of metal on this thing. It's from the aluminum ring it was in. There was some more slivers. Ah, what can you do? And I'm pushing the, the last coil of the mainspring down into the barrel. Because it just didn't... Yeah, I see there's little slivers in that fold-over part where it hooks on, but it's too late now. I thought I got them all out. Ah, we'll see what happens. There you go. Well, that was relatively easy. Now, let's see. Where's my barrel arbor? Oh, it goes a certain way. I think it goes in like this. Yeah, it has to go in like this. Oh, it's small. Let me put this back. I have a tendency to put things back that people just throw away. I had to put the ring back in the contain in the plastic. How do I get that in? Man, it's like too small. It's like too small. <laughs> I mean, it's just small. Oh, man. Something just fell. Oh, it was the old mainspring. It's small. Damn, it's small. I mean, it's... It's noticeably small. That last coil is noticeably smaller than the arbor. Let me get that sucker in there. Oh, pain in my ass. I thought this would be easy. Oh, this is gonna fight. Yeah, this is not going to go easy. This is not going to go easy. This is not going to go easy. I'm approaching it at an angle. Maybe if I push it in at an angle. I have to use a different finger. Oh, you know, I thought this would be easy. No. Frig. This is profanity. That's what this is. Oh, this is... I don't know if this, this is not the right way. Tweezers aren't digging it. These tweezers are not digging it. I gotta pull off the stainless steel bad boys. 
I hate to grip grip it like this, but wow! Damn, that's just too damn small. Just too. I mean, it's way. Maybe it's not the right mainspring. <sighs> Frick. Look how big that diameter is compared to that one. I mean, it's going to be on there tight. Got it. I got it in the coil, but it's not sitting right. Oh, man. It's not sitting right. It's in the coil, but it's not hooked. And the way I'm going to get it hooked is by winding it. That's the way I'm going to get it hooked. Let's get back to the brass tweezers. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Excuse me. I'm just going to squeeze it. It's, it's on. Just squeeze it. Sometimes, well, yeah, I'm looking at it and uh, it's in. The cover's on. Let's see. Yeah. How does this go? Huh. It goes like this because that's where the square. The square is for the winding wheel. Oh, this thing went crooked on me. Oh, let's see. I put this on. See how much fighting does this do? It fights. If it's not fighting, I don't like the way it's not sitting right. I as it's It's why is it like that?
it's it's not sitting right. And maybe it is sitting right. just wobbles. Something's not sitting right. What is not... What is not right? It's this thing. What do they call that? That's the clutch. No, maybe that's the clutch. I forget what the parts are called. Man, why, why is this... It wobbles. It's not, it's not sitting flush. Why? Is it just me? That looks all good. How come it doesn't sit flush? Yeah, that looks okay. We can live with that. I'll put the screws back in, you know, because I'm not using. I'm using only three power here on the uh, magnification. I have to make the video. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it sits good now. What did, I didn't like the way it was sitting. But maybe now it's good. before I tighten everything. Yeah, it looks flush. Yeah, maybe it was just my imagination. Wait, why am I using this screw? Oh, this one's... I thought I was using a fatter one. Yeah, this is the fatter one. See the screwdriver too small, you start dinging up the uh, the slot. Oh, what's next? What is next? It's got a square. Oh, it's blue because the shell is blue. That's what the blue is. And the click is always in the way. How do we get the click out of the way? Oh, frig. There you go, you dog. I thought it would fight. Where is the screw? It's reverse. So you turn it the opposite way to get it to screw in. 
I think that's it. What other pieces do I have in here? Okay, let me get things out of the way. Or move things. Where's the case? What did I do with the case? It's almost time to burp. Uh. Oh, there you go. Now, where's the front and where's the back? This must be the front. Now, see, one thing about this movement, it's got a push button. So you just push the button and then you can open it up. Uh, so it goes on like this. I hate to touch it, but... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna... Oh, it just doesn't want to rotate. <laughs> you dog. Oh, it doesn't want to even come out. Oh, now, let's see if it rotates. It rotated. Let me get this. Look at that. Now, the one thing is when I always put the stem in, I always I like to rotate it to make sure the square. Now, since I pulled the stem out, that's why I don't like to pull out the stem first, because now when you screw it back in, the screw to tighten it. Let's see what happens. I think I should uh, I should put in these case screws. Before I do anything else. Oh, well, that's too wide. I don't want to use that one. I thought I used another one. Where'd the other one go? What did I do with the other one? I thought I had it, the one with the red on it. There it is. Ah, oh, it slides out. Everything always slides. Well, you know, like I say, if it's not a pain in the ass when you're doing it, you're not doing it right. They're not super tight, but they're tight enough. But see, now before I tighten down that screw for the crown, I have to pull it out a little bit so I catch the groove when I tighten that up. This uh, screw. One. See, I don't have it right because it only went down a little bit. That's why I don't like this method. Oh, now I gotta find out where it is. Maybe that's it. I heard a click. Oh, I got it now. Okay, don't want to force it. I think that's it. Yeah, I can hear it. Uh, Oh, wait, well, it's not it. There you go. Let me make sure. Well, that's, it won't screw in anymore, so that must be it. Oh, let's see what we did. Let's see what we did. Yeah, all well that's underneath the dial stuff. You see that's moving. Wait. Ah, yeah, screw it. Let's see. I want to see that's when we wind it. Now, I, from what I remember, the groove on the uh, winding armor is, is not in the right position yet. So it may slip. 
eventually. There you go, it slipped. Now it's in the groove. Oh, it's running too. Uh, let's wind it up all the way. This crystal is pretty crappy. Let me take it off so you can see. Huh. Look how it's not even centered. <laughs> there it's supposed to be. I don't know. What do I know? Oh, it's starting to fight now. Now, I don't know if the uh, the uh, exterior... What do you call that? The outer loop. I don't think that is... Uh, I don't know if that's in the right location also. Because when you push it in, you know, who knows how it's going to end up. Is this an unbreakable mainspring? Where'd the package go? What does it say it is? It says it's unbreakable and rust proof. It's white alloy, non-magnetic. There you go. Looks like it's wound up all the way. It's too bad I can't uh, access and see if there's any crud in there. But it's not really running that good, is it? It has to be cleaned in oil probably, too. One of these days. Yeah, it runs like crap. It runs real poorly on that balance motion. Oh, well. It runs. Well, I guess I have to take this apart and clean and oil it. So there you go. Installed the uh, the Watchcraft Watchcraft. So AS1052 is the movement. This thing got a number on it. Mm. Oh, there's the number. 3871W. And there's the dimensions. And where's the old mainspring? It fell on the floor. Oh, let me see if I can pick it up. There you go. That's the old one. With the inner loop. And this is the packaging it came in. The new one. I think that's it. I like to. Uh... Was it running better now? It's running a little bit better. Well, you know, who knows when this is clean and oil before I have to do that one of these days. I probably shouldn't have wound it up e either because it hasn't been clean oil. But uh, you know, I'm not a watchmaker, so I'm not. Uh... I don't have to uphold the, the their oath or whatever they have. So that's that. Oh, this is almost an hour to this is an hour to do this crap. Holy! So I like to thank my uh, my movement holder and my brass tweezers and of course the various screwdrivers I used and the case opener and I did use the loop too. So. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Oh, and the blower to get rid of some of that crap. I think that's it. The scissors. Maybe I should thank the scissors too for opening up the package. Uh, all well, well done job. Thank you, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program. We'll, we'll zoom in on this again. Wait, we can do a macro. Is it a macro? Yeah, there you go. Seven jeweled, unadjusted, 
Oh, the lighting is just crap. Why don't I take this off? Oh, is the lighting any better? Not really. Why don't I turn this light off? What did you get? Well, you can tell. There you go. Now you can see. Uh, what is it? Unadjusted, 7 Jewels, Swiss, Gerard, I can't pronounce that name. Established. What's that? 1791. And there's the GXM for the code. The Swiss makers have a code. So there you go. Installed the uh, new mainspring. Runs now. It has to be cleaned and oiled after it runs down. So thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program and enjoy the rest of your day. I can't believe how long this took. Holy crap.